Good morning everybody, happy almost weekend and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. First I would like to say a quick thank you to all of you guys, all the new and current subscribers. It has been an amazing week, it has been a crazy week with all of the, the new viewers and new subscribers and the amount, of, the amount of people that have been watching these videos. It's been so much fun, it's been amazing seeing the amount of people playing this game again in one condensed space. There's lots of people leveling Zandalaris, but guys, thank you so much to all of you. All of you in this family that are helping me grow it past 100. We're just going to 1,000, man. That's the new goal. I'm Because you guys just keep blowing my mind, so thank you all so much. And today, we are talking about Zandalari Troll Racials. I would like to show you guys the breakdown of what you can expect and what it takes to use these racials properly. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so first up on the list we're going to talk about the Embrace of the Loa. A 3 second cast with a whopping 5 day cooldown, this racial comes across to me as one of the most unique and versatile racials in the entire game. Choose your Loa by making an offering at a Loa shrine around the world. Luckily, these shrines are located in Dazara lore, so for all the Horde players here, you'll be able to go to your main city, and every five days or so, you'll be able to change this around. Each Loa offers unique powers. Guards in Dazara lore will tell you where the shrines are, and I will also throw up a picture for you guys to see the at least the rough estimation of where they all are. The unique thing about the Embrace of the Loa is that it gives you six options to cater around your character depending on what role you're trying to fill. First up, you've got the Shrine of Akunda. The Shrine of Akunda gives your healing spells a chance to heal your target for an additional amount. Next up, you've got the Shrine of Bwamsandi. The Shrine of Bwamsandi gives your damaging abilities a chance to deal additional shadow damage and heal you for 100% of the damage dealt. Next up, we have Shrine of Gonk. The Shrine of Gonk gives you increased movement speed by 5%. The Shrine of Kimball gives your damaging abilities a chance to make your target bleed for 6 seconds. This ability can also stack up to 3 times. Then we have the Shrine of Kragwa. The Shrine of Kragwa, when Embrace of Kragwa is active, taking damage has a chance to increase your maximum health and armor. Then we have the Shrine of Paku. The Shrine of Paku gives your damaging abilities a chance to grant you 4% critical strike chance. So as you can tell guys, there's varying variety <laughs> in all of the different self buffs you can give to your character depending on your playstyle. So the next of the amazing racials these guys carry with them is Regeneratin. Regeneratin is a channeled spell on a 2.5 minute cooldown, regenerates 100% of your maximum health over 6 seconds, interrupted by any damage. So you really want to make sure when you're using this in a PvE or PvP scenario, that if you're going to take damage or consistently have dots or bleeds on you, you don't want to try to use this cooldown while that's happening. Always try to clear yourself, hide behind a barrier or a wall in PvP, and then give it a go. Okay, and next up, which is probably my personal favorite for Zandalari Troll Racials, is the Teradax Swoop. A cooldown of 15 minutes, but some of the most useful and versatile ability, especially in world PvP and class scaling when you're out world questing. I can't even, Im I can't even begin to tell you guys just how many uses this talent is going to have. It reduces your falling speed for up to two minutes. So for melee classes that don't have a slow fall or anything of that nature where they can land and not take damage, the Pterodax Swoop is going to allow you to fly for some serious distance. And when I mean serious distance, just watch on the screen here. You can clearly see me going from the top of Dazara lore by the Great Seal all the way around the outside of the entire chamber and then all the way down to the docks where your uh where your war campaign is this is amazing and it is one of my favorite skills for zandalari and last but not least for all you greedy gold makers out there guys the last racial passive that you get as a Zandalari troll, which is the icing on top of the cake, is City of Gold. City of Gold increases the gold you earn from creatures by 2%, a whopping 2%. I'll take it. I'll take any money I can get in this game. This is going to get me 2% closer to my next WoW token. Okay guys, that just about wraps up all of the Zandalari Troll racial abilities and passives. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already had a chance to go check out any of my other content on my brand new Zandalari Shaman I'm putting out for you guys, 
go check it out now. There's lots to see. I hope you've been enjoying those different videos. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if this is the kind of stuff you want to see more of, so that way I can cater the channel to my viewers. And again, guys, thank you all so much to all of you new subscribers and current subscribers. All your love and support and all of your feedback and comments are always greatly appreciated you guys are amazing i can't wait to keep doing this for you over and over and over again these videos are just an absolute blast to make so again guys thank you so much and we will see you again very soon